out of 54 countries in Africa. 16 have abolished the death penalty, but Uganda still keeps the sentence in its law books, although it's no longer mandatory. Uh, yeah. During the local commemoration of the 16th International Day against the Death Penalty in Kampala, head of delegation of the European Union to Uganda, urged Uganda to consider abolishing the death penalty. He says it's a violation of human rights and dignity. The fight against the death penalty is a prominent priority in the European Union Action Plan on Human Rights and Democracy adopted in 2015. All European Union member states have abolished the death penalty and we are the only international actor to actively pursue abolition of the death penalty at the global level. The EU top diplomat said the death penalty should be abolished even when he acknowledged that criminality was on the rise across the world. <laughs> The ceremony was held at the offices of the Foundation of Human Rights Initiative in Insambia, Kampara. This year's theme was living conditions on death row. Even our own relatives fear to come to court because they know that when I go there, they will arrest me and add me on the case. Now, why am I testifying against this penalty? We have an example of Brother Ampaji who was found innocent after so many years. How he was found innocent it was because the person who was accused of arrest, uh, of kidnapping and killing was alive. You can change a man's heart. You can change his heart. But if you don't change the environmental condition that created him, the heart doesn't have a chance. Executive Director of Foundation for Human Rights Initiative, Dr. Living Sun Suanyana, also explained why the death penalty was unnecessary. I want to urge that the death penalty, despite all the occurrences, is a reactionary approach to dealing with crime. Uganda's maximum security prison in Luzira, Kampara, has 417 prisoners on death row awaiting execution. Uganda last executed 28 inmates in April 1999. President Jerome Museveni has expressed support for the death penalty, citing the rise in criminality. As in our societies, we believe in the law of Moses. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. If you interfere with that, you will see the instability you will cause here. In fact, I have been making the mistake of not signing the death sentences. I am now repenting completely. The campaign to abolish the death penalty has been on for decades. In the Susan Chigula petition, the Supreme Court decided in 2009 that the death sentence would no longer be mandatory and that court should look at every case individually. The highest court also decided that if a convict spends many years on death row, then the death sentence should be changed to life imprisonment. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.